Hi, this is a video overview of the Questionnaire Builder. This is the admin interface. The admin interface is the uh, interface used to create, design, manage service, and analyze data. This one is the home page where you find information on the latest service you created. And then on the top part, you find all the sections of the admin interface. Right now, we are moving into the service section. When you click in the service section, you have a list of all the services you, cre you created. Uh, each line is a different survey, and for each one of them you find a number, a title, the name of the folder on the left, and then on the right you find all the sections that uh, made the survey menu. To enter the questionnaire builder, you click on the first icon of the menu, which is Questions. This is the page you're working with. On the part, top part, you find the Pages box, and then below, you find the preview of the page you are selecting. If you want to add a new page, you click on the plus you find on the top part of the Pages box, or on the plus you find Between Pages. You don't have any limitation on number of pages or questions you can insert in the questionnaire, or number of questions inside a page. You can add multiple questions in a page, and to do that, you click on the Add Questions button. When you do this, you find a selection of possible question templates you can add between basic, matrix, or 3D matrix. You select the type of question first, and then you can select the subtype. In this case, I want to add, for example, a single select, but I have a long list of options, including rating, sliders, uh, descriptive text, drop-down, date, question, but in this case, I need a single one. So I'm clicking on the type of question, and the software added the question below the first one. I click on the question text, and I add the text. So I've added the question, where have you heard about ID survey? And now I'm moving to the answer options. I click in the option and I add the text. Everything I've done with the graphical editor, I can also do with ID code, which is the programming language behind the editor. You can enter ID code clicking on the IDC icon on the page bar, or you can also work with the entire code of the entire questionnaire, um, clicking on the Tools button of the Pages box. I click on the IDC button to enter the ID code of this page, and as you can see, I can find here the question that I've just created. I can simply add a new uh, option in the list, which is number four, and it's going to be other specify. If I'm saving this, I will find this new option in the uh, graphical editor too. So I'm clicking on OK, and here, here it is. Now I, can, I have to change the type of this option. So to do this, I click on the answer settings, which is this gear wheel button. And the first button is the drop-down menu to select another type of option. So I switch from single select to open end. In this same uh, option buttons, I can also find other things that I can set on an un answer option. Um, I can update a contact field or put an option as out of target. So I have multiple things that I can do with answer options. Now, this question I have to display just if I answered yes to the first question, the question above this. So just as if I say that I actually heard about ID survey. So to do this, I have to set a logic condition, which is called display condition, which is going to display the question just if I answered one at question one. So to set this, I click on the logic condition icon, which is this one. As you can see, I have display conditions. And inside the uh, box, I write the condition, which is going to be if I open up a round bracket, question one, so code one, is equal to option one, which is yes. And then I close the bracket. When I add a condition, uh, I'm going to display this red 
F icon, which uh, if I mouse over, I will see what I've written inside. Along with display condition, you can also set skip condition and not just on questions as we've done now, but also on answer options or on pages or on group of questions or sections of questions. ID Survey also has advanced tools to create complex questionnaires. For example, um, we have FlowScript that allows you to create loops or to set advanced rules to manage the flow of your questionnaire. That's all for today's video. If you want to know more on ID Survey, you can visit our website idsurvey.com and request a demo. Thanks for watching. Ciao.